All right, this is it. This is the last lesson for, Pat, for a Math Pace 1087. And uh, challenging, yes. Squares and undoing squares. So let's, we're going to take this. Um, what page was this on? Was this? Yeah, page 44. Okay. Yeah, that's what I have up here, page 44. All right. Um, I want to solve for S, okay? Solve for S. Now, the SA means surface area. It's not two different things. It's all just put all together, surface area. It's one, one thing. So to solve for S, the first thing I need to do is divide by 6, okay? So I have SA, surface area, divided by 6 equals S squared. Now, what do we, how do we undo something that's squared? Let's think about this. What is 3 squared? If I wanted to undo the square, okay, I would do the square root of that. So I'm asking what number times itself equals 9? 3 squared is 9, and the answer is 3, okay? But I could skip this step and go right from here right to here and say that I can undo the square by doing the square root. And so they kind of like cancel each other out. So the square root of that equals the base of 3. Now, how are we going to use that here? I'm going to bring this down, say the surface area divided by 6 equals s squared. If I'm solving just for s to get s by itself, I have to do the square root. So the square root of s squared is s. Okay, just like the square root of 3 squared is 3. The square root of 5 squared is 5. So the square root kind of like undoes, it's the opposite operation of squared. But whatever I do to one side of the equation, I have to do the same thing to the other side. So if I did the square root on this side, I have to also do the square root of that whole thing. And so literally, the answer is this complicated looking thing, okay? <laughs> surface area divided by 6, and, and to solve it, that's what you would do. You would take the number for the surface area, divide by 6, and then with your calculator, you would find the button that says square root, okay? And you would hit that square root key, and you should get the answer, all right? Let's take this one. This one we're going to solve for R. <clears throat> so this is a variable. So I first have to get rid of, since I'm solving for this, I have to get rid of pi, and I have to get rid of h. So I'm going to do the same thing over here. Divide by pi and divide by h, okay? Remember we did this in a previous um, assignment in this pace. And so that leaves me with r squared. How do I undo the squared? Okay, I'm trying to solve for r. I do the square root. And I have to do the same thing to the other side. Okay, and that will give me just plain old r. Square root of r squared is r, and that's what they're asking me to solve for on this particular problem. And now we have the answer. Da -da -da -da. The square root of the, vo the volume divided by pi times the height. Now, you don't have to memorize these kinds of formulas, okay? They'll give you this main formula um, on that card that you made or looking back in your pace, or maybe you're, uh, you've memorized them all. And so that's what you start with, and if we're asked to solve for the radius, then we go through this. Again, this is not something typically we do a lot of at this level of math. It's just we're introducing it. We definitely are going to do a lot of it when we get to Algebra 1, Algebra 2, Physical Science, Chemistry, Physics, that kind of a thing. So we want to start thinking about how to do these kinds of problems. Now, let's take... Um, <clears throat> the next little section in the pace, which is they give us the volume 
and they ask us to find, I think this one's finding the height, okay? Let me look if I can find that particular problem that I was, um, yep, yeah, on page 44. It says, no, I'm sorry, find the radius. The height is 28, okay, sorry about that. The height is 28, we're gonna use 3, point, uh, three and 1 seventh for pi. So what's the formula for this? Volume equals radius squared times pi times the height. <clears throat> first, since we're solving for the radius, we wanna first solve this equation just for r, and then we'll plug our numbers in. So I wanna divide by pi and h, and over here we'll have pi and h. And now we'll do the square root of both sides. All right, so r equals the volume divided by pi times h, and then once we solve that, we can use the square root key on our calculator. So the volume is 8,800 over, let's turn this into 22 over seven, okay? Times 28, because the height is 28. And uh, I realize we're kind of getting in our way here, but if we put that over one and we can see that, oh, look, this cancels, seven cancels against 28 and I have four, 22 times four is 88, all right? So I have 88, 8,800 divided by 88, okay, 22 times four, 88. And this is still, this whole thing, we're doing the square root, let me keep that with it. Simplify that and you see you get 100, okay? And now what is the square root? of 100. I don't even think you need your calculator for that one. Really? Square root of 100. What number times itself equals 100? All right, you finish that one. Let's go over here and look at another type that has the x squared. Oh, we didn't do this one. Area of a circle, okay? And uh, we're asked to find the radius, okay? This is pi. We're asked to find the radius. Okay, area of a circle is pi times the radius squared. If I'm solving for the radius, then I'm going to divide both sides by pi, and then do the square root of both sides. So r equals the area, I'm gonna plug in the numbers now, 50.24 divided by 3.14 and then we'll do the square root of that. And again, I, if you wanna do that on paper or use a calculator, if you're allowed to do that, do the math inside here first, take the number that you get, the answer, and do the square root, okay, of that answer. And voila, you've got the answer, okay? Now, let's jump real quick to page 46, and we have some problems like this. I'm, I'm just gonna walk through two real quick, and then we're done with uh, page 1087 with these lessons. Remember, we undo addition or subtraction first. So I'm gonna add four to the other side. So x squared over six equals 24. And then remember, we get rid of the denominator first. So we have to multiply both sides times six. Okay, and that'll cancel x squared equals 24 times six. Um, 144. Now, to solve for x, we do the square root of x squared and the square root of 144. And you know the answer to that, at least you better, without a calculator. You should know the square root of 144. All right, let's do one last one here. Again, draw a line through the equals, bring the seven over, okay? So we have two fifths x squared equals three. 
And I did that wrong. This was supposed to be 17. Okay? So when we <laughs> bring the 7 over and subtract it, we get 10. There we go. <clears throat> All right. Subtract the 7 from both sides, get 10, and then we're going to multiply by 5 over 2. Okay? And that cancels out. X squared equals... Then we can cancel here. The 10 will cancel against the 2 and give me 5. 5 times 5 is 25. And then the last step, remember, is you do the square root of x squared, and you'll have x, the square root of 25. Okay, you're almost done. Do this, do this. You can finish this page, okay? And then you have the checkup, and then the paste test, and there are... The pace test is not really as hard as all of this. They have a couple of problems on the self-test, a couple on the pace test of this complicated type. That's not mainly what the pace test is about. So even if you feel a little intimidated by this, don't worry. You will do fine on the pace test. All right? Good luck.